finally here. Oh my goodness. So I'm guessing this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's not the one. This says Packer on it. Uh, Packer crossover adapter. We don't need that. Okay. And this one says Volvo. I'm guessing this is the one we need for our Detroit. I felt like a kid on Christmas. Or maybe in front of a uh, in front of a freaking vending machine, <laughs> waiting for that thing to drop. Ah, waiting for that doggone for this thing to come in. Felt like an eternity. This is the first time me operating this as you seeing it. I'm recording it. First impression of this thing. Let's see what this thing. If this thing is worth the money that we paid for. So now I have a light. Lights coming on. We're gonna press scan over here. Scanning. How do I connect to adapter? What the heck? Plug the adapter into vehicle diagnostic connector. Pairing mode. Oh, okay. So we press this one set into pairing mode okay press next when adapter okay continue now we scan did I not Oh, finally, my goodness. So basically, the Bluetooth is not able to connect via through the app. You have to connect through the Bluetooth settings on your phone before you can do anything. It's just that's just the initial settings. Okay, now. Let's uh, look at vehicle information. Vehicle device, SN year, um, hey. <laughs> uh, can I get some kind of vehicle information? Now, maybe it's gonna take a while. You know what, I'm starting to love this tool. I was gonna hate it, so what happened was the, uh, the stinking ELD, this right here, you don't want to have to plug it in on that, on that one. You have to plug it in directly to the 9-pin connector of the engine. We are currently, come on, focus. We're currently regening right now. Our lights are still on. We reset the ass accumulator. I actually am loving this thing right now. We're at almost 600 in temperature and I'm starting to like that. And everything here looks acceptable. I went outside and tried to feel my, uh, not just in the area, but my, uh, my one box and it's getting hot. So we're still okay there. We only have one active fault. Let's see, fault codes active, which is of course the uh, suit level very high. I already did reset where it says commands. I did reset as accumulator, and then I reset SCR, and then I reset fault codes. Technically, I'm not supposed to reset SCR. I haven't done anything to the SCR. So, we will see. Um, it looks like Right now, it's looking like it's gonna let me go through the, uh, what you call it, the regen. 
we will see. We're at around 600, R 600 in temps. Engine temperature, we're only at around 170. So we still got a long way to go. Oh, we got another code that came in. These code uh, exhaust emission controller. So the temperature is not getting high enough. I think that's what that is. Well, I mean, our, our engine temperature is not high yet. So I can see why that would come on. I hope it doesn't shut it down and just continues. We're, on, we're only at 600. We've only been on, let me see, where's our regen? Does it show regen progress there? Nope. Our regen has only been going on for like 10 minutes, I believe. There's a counter, yeah, there you go, 10 minutes. So we are, I believe, commands, we are around 17 minutes. And temps are 680. I'm not sure how I feel about that because like I said, it's like I've never actually seen live data like this before and I'm this this is kind of amazing. I kind of love seeing data like this. So I'm going to I'm going to assume that we're okay because the engine is still it hasn't stopped me from uh regening and I have a solid light now, so that means we're increase I think that means we're increasing the temperature in the one box so it hasn't gone solid like that in a while so actually resetting that ass accumulator helps a lot and it looks like it's gonna go through with the with the regen seems that way we're only at 200 degrees on the engine temperature uh, where are we at yeah, 194. Oh no, that's oil temperature. Engine. Shh, right there. So, around 200 degrees. And uh, actually, that that thing runs pretty cool. 109 degrees inside the uh, the CAC. That's not bad. I'm actually I'm pretty surprised how cool that is because you know you have the EGR coming back in. So you have hot temperatures coming back into the intake and at 100, 100 degrees, that's not bad. So let's see here. I, I love seeing this stuff. I, we still have two fault codes. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about those right now until we finish the regen. Once we hit about 30 minutes, I, I should expect some of them to at least, at least that one, uh, 3665 should go away. We are about approximately 30 minutes in, and I don't like those temps. Everything I've seen on the internet, those temps are supposed to be getting higher than that. Now, I don't know, like, parameter wise, I don't know which that is. You know what I mean? Because you have so many freaking gauges on the after treatment so I guess we'll just sit and see if it's gonna go through the dog on uh, uh, what you might call it the regen and it's it's going strong so far and I'm not I think uh, it's still going around 45 minutes we should be able to hopefully at least clears us I'm hoping. So we'll find out in about 15 minutes. See how we doing. <laughs> the, I kind of like that. I kind of like seeing this information. Engine oil temp. Yeah. I don't think it's going to go any higher than 700. Now, like I said, I don't know what these are. The engine exhaust temperature. So maybe that's coming. That's that's the sensor before the what do you call it the DOC 
but I could have sworn they were supposed to get higher than that. But this might not. This might be limited information, though. We might not be seeing the detailed information. So I'm just gonna have to wait and see what it does. And here we are, 40 minutes in. It looks like it looks like it's finalizing. We have the red light out now. Oh God, please let this be it. Let this be it. After treatment, fuel pressure goes up way high. My goodness, that shoots up to 145. So it's steady at 80, around 80, and then it shoots up to around 145. EGR position at about 10%. Okay, did you finish? The real question is, did you finish? Oh my goodness. Uh, 1-fault code. 3665. Suit level is gone. What, uh... Let's try... Now let's try clearing the fault codes. I don't know if it finished commands. Uh, history. Force regen. 40 minute duration. Okay. Fault codes. Uh, commands. Reset all fault codes. Confirm. fault codes but why is that stinking light still on maybe I've never seen that light before like that even like before after after I regen I've never seen that light like that I got no codes I'm cleared with the codes let's look at the live data our temperature in the uh, after treatment is going down. I think that means the exhaust temps are high. <laughs> I mean, I've never seen that on before. Even maybe I maybe it wasn't doing a proper regen before. I don't know. Maybe that's why the things got clogged. I have no idea. I really don't. Uh, let's see. Uh, turn on the engine fan. Just gonna cool her down. I have to say that I am very relieved. So, basically, it seemed like to me, it seemed like it never, this never really regen the proper way before. So, even when I changed out those DPF filters last year. It never. I, I guess I never really regen properly. I don't know. Like I mean, I've I've never reset the uh, ash accumulator when I did do that. So this allows me to do that. I am so happy and so relieved. Uh, I can actually return this tool, but I'm not going to. What a tool! That's an amazing tool. <laughs> wow. Oh wow. Let me tell you guys something. If if the word relieved has a face, this is it. My goodness. I am so relieved that I'm actually... <sighs> Cheers. <sighs> I can't even tell you. I can't even express in words how I feel right now because this right here this right here it's 
fixed. It's this tool that made it happen. It's actually this tool. I mean, of course, it, it's included with all the work that we've done to the truck here in the past few days, but this is the tool that made it happen. So, like, I probably could have easily taken the truck to a dealership and it would have been the same uh, end result. But with that being said, that would have cost me probably a good $400 maybe more I, I would say at least three hours in labor maybe so at a hundred and twenty dollars so it's gonna be around 400 bucks this tool cost me 700 bucks with a one-year subscription and does the same exact thing I'm so relieved I really am all right so let's summarize on how much we spent so that's 180 for that receipt 61 for that one plus 1661 on that one plus 446 that's how much we spent in the past few days with the emission system you know i gotta say that's not bad that's horrible it looks bad but that's not bad considering that we did all the work I would say there's probably gonna be around 12 hours maybe 12 hours of labor just on this all of this work alone that's just the labor part not 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 uh, counting your uh, troubleshooting part I can't even I can't even imagine how much is troubleshooting so I mean if if say if say let's just Let's just round it off to like 15 hours. Let's say 15 hours of labor at $130 an hour. So 15 times 130, that's how much we would have paid. 1950, just in labor alone. And that's probably a low figure. And plus the amount that you paid for the parts. So... I would say we probably would be spending over close, just a little bit over five grand. Just what we had to do on the truck so far, not including the tool. I mean, the tool, the tool, it's like, you know, we'll be able to use that at a later time and it's going to do us good in the future. And man, let me tell you, this tool, oh, I think I left it in the truck. Yeah, I left it in the truck, but these guys are doing some amazing things. I can't, I can't even express how happy I am with this tool. This tool is amazing. This is my first impression of this tool. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna keep using this tool, and then we're, we're gonna review the tool. It's amazing. This tool is amazing. It's worth every penny. So, till next time. Let's go to work.